in today's video i'm going to be sharing with y'all a stock that is about to make a massive move next week and why you should be keeping it on your watch list we're also going to address the overall market and what to expect within the next few days all right so let's dive right into the charts right off the bat we have the spy and something very weird is happening at the moment i don't know if y'all realized it already but as soon as i turned think or swim on and i saw this jump like if you look on the chart and you click right here from four from 4466 all the way up to 4511 that's a 1.5 jump but if you look on the left side um the percent changes is 0 0.08 it's barely it barely moved which is off i don't know if there is a delay in think or swim with this jump or if this is absolutely meaningless and anybody who are long on the futures could make absolutely nothing i don't know which one is which but we'll see exactly how if anything changes in the morning all right but right now things are looking bullish even though it like think or swim says it's not bullish but it appears to be bullish to me especially after this jump now this is this is one thing that i mentioned in the last video on friday something that long traders long bias traders would be hopeful for another for the bullish trend and by the bullish trend i'm talking about like the weekly and the daily chart again bullish trend all right so for this bullish trend to continue they would want a right shoulder that right shoulder right here they will want it to be wide like really really wide and for the price to eventually break above 45.50 and right now it looks like that's about to happen this head and shoulders right here might actually be fake after all and anybody who is short from the six and the seven hoping for a drop down here um, may be trapped and may lead to a squeeze within the next few days the situation is very very sus again we have to we have to wait and see how if the if the other stocks in the tech sectors are also jumping again this is just the spy futures and if you look at the nasdaq the same thing applies to that one and it's an even bigger jump with the dow jones right here all right i mentioned there's people who bought right here again long traders who bought at the neckline waiting for a much much bigger move hoping that this level right here doesn't break through and this jump right here kind of like kind of reassures these individuals these long traders and if you break that one any shorts all of the shorts who are trapped right here and who are trapped right there in this wick are going to all cover and there is going to be a move like this all the way up to 35 um to 35,500 all right now let's look at let's look at the stock that looks like it's about to make a massive move the setup is hinting a massive move next week and i'm going to be sharing with uh sh sharing it to with y'all right in the moment all right so let's go over here and let's erase let's go to let me change it to the one minute and then let's go google all right i'm gonna erase everything okay looks like everything is clean now let's zoom out to the four hour because that's what the pattern is the pattern is on the four hour chart it's not very clear but it is it's there it's there and i cannot ignore it the structure on the chart is a bullish rectangle where we have a massive run first and then we have consolidation between a range between 133 and 127 all right we have this chart cooking right here sideways followed by the breakout which happened about two weeks ago so it broke out and then retested the previous level like this level of resistance became new supports on i believe this is thursday yeah on thursday bounced off and then kept going on friday and it looks pretty good to me it looks good to me that it's going to continue to towards 100 
and 40 bucks tomorrow monday all right and again i'm not sure how um how, how these stocks are going to move because the percentage on take or swim says it hasn't moved but the price says it has so if everything jumps then again we're leaning bullish on this one so watch google again this is supposed to be a simple structure watch google for it to move all the way up to 140 tomorrow i don't know how long it's gonna take to get there maybe maybe we'll get there by 11 a.m all right just watch out for that set an alert at 137.50 and if that rings again if that rings the odds the odds of a massive push to 140 are good and look at the bottom for volume because that also helps as well so that's the stock though that's the first stock to keep on watch the second stock that one is leaning more bearish because again we don't know what's going on with the futures we do but we don't so we gotta look at we gotta look at lee all right now lee this one i talked about it within the past weeks all right i shared this one with y'all about three weeks ago right on this day on the 25th warning y'all to put an alert right here at 3818 and watching it closely obviously i made previous videos with neo and the move on xpev as well so kind of all of these stocks moved together and it got to the targets now that they got to the targets which was like right here the targets for neo and xpev again if you look at the charts you will see that they spiked but ever since they spiked they've been downtrending now like now that that has happened what i want y'all to pay attention to is a daily there is potentially a double top is this one this top is not as high as the previous one but if that breaks if 38 dollars breaks and there is a spike in volume and these individuals right here these long traders who bought all of their stop losses are gonna trigger and we could see a massive fall all the way down to 35 dollars all right so keep keep the um chinese ev stocks on watch baba still has that gap to fill at 84 dollars right now it's staying at uh let's see here where's baba staying at yeah it's staying at 90 bucks so i'm not sure how fast it's gonna drop or if it's gonna drop at all but in regards to the chinese ev they had their move up and right now the situation is looking a bit vulnerable at the top i wouldn't recommend anybody to be like long bias up here until there's a new structure that happens but right now that level at below 38 dollars is very fragile and if there and if the stop loss starts to hit then we could see a sell-off so that's the other one to keep on watch the next one to keep on watch is clf let's see clf now with clf this one it looked bullish at first I shared it with y'all and I gave y'all specific parameters to watch for. I gave y'all scenarios that it shouldn't do in order for this one to stay clean. And the only thing was, why if it drops below $15, the play is dead. Like this no longer applies. This bullish pennant right here that you see, if the price drops below 15, this is no longer good and bears are taken over right which is pretty much what happened right after it brought a bridge below 15 dollars on i think this is wednesday thursday and friday now i looked at this one again looking at the big picture and i went to the daily and the daily chart is looking a bit fragile um uh, right over here there is that level of support that got breached on friday which is very worrisome for anybody who are long on this one like it's looking really fragile and the next gap to fill is all the way down to twelve dollars and fifteen cents so there is a lot of money to be made on the short side but the volume has to increase all right the, vo the, the first gap at 14 is getting filled right now it's probably gonna hit 14 dollars exactly tomorrow but will it continue lower it's looking like it. It's looking like it. Uh, let's move on to the weekly. The weekly charts. 
Yeah, just a, a drop to 12 wouldn't surprise me. I don't expect it to drop all the way down to 10. That's a little too much, given the fact that it's already undervalued. And since it sold from like the low, from the highs of $33, like a move down to 12, followed by a little sideways action, followed by a move back up. That's what I'm seeing with the stock. Something like this. That's what I'm seeing with it. But right now, short term, it's not looking too great for longs. And if it goes any lower, they will panic. So that's that's the last stock to keep on watch. Now, an update. On Friday, I shared I shared in the video with y'all. I told y'all that I was leaning much bearish. I was leaning bearish on the stock. And to watch for an intraday opportunity to the short side, that intraday opportunity showed up. Again, after the bullish pennant, it went up to 366. And then from there, a bearish triangle followed by the breakdown right here. So this was the bearish opportunity to look out for. All right. So congrats to anybody who made some money on that. Where is it going to go next? The weekly chart is not looking too great. And then I told you guys, chasing it up there it's very very risky especially if you're trying to go long and not look at the chart for a few days i wouldn't i wouldn't recommend that like pay attention pay attention to what you're doing pay attention to the charts and to the price action that level at five at, at 450 very vulnerable especially when we look at the one hour chart again it's right here we're testing it well more like once twice three times four times five times six times if it gets if it gets below it on the seventh attempt then we could see a panic down to like 420 exactly 420 so um i'm not saying it will drop i'm just i'm just watching out and i'm prepared for it and to get you guys prepared for it again just so that y'all can be informed and uh ready for the next week and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate the like button as always don't forget to subscribe and also again if you don't already know we release pre-market analysis videos from monday to friday 15 minutes 15 to 20 minutes before the market opens for early access to those click on the join button and click on morning videos all right if you'd like to be part of a private discord community we can get all of this information in real time along with my trades you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below if you haven't followed me on social media yet you can find me at paul and Buba, and i've had an lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if you'd like to get some free stocks with webull you can use the third link in the description of the video below once again ladies and gentlemen my name is paul and Buba with an analogy lab where we trade patterns and patterns only and i will see all of you in the next video.